So today we met somebody who is very important to this um, I, to these islands, to the islands of Maui. Um, he is like a cultural advisor. He teaches people about um, the history of Maui. He teaches people about um, just everything that the elder teaches him, and he passes it on. Um, his name is Vene. He's a very cool person. He taught us chants today. Um, he taught us. He took us to a fish pond, a sacred fish pond, which they built. Um, he's a pretty cool person. People of the island of Maui believe that fishing is very sacred and that they, the ocean is very sacred to them. So they have like this area of a fish pond where- Out on the ocean actually, and there, we're uh, fixing or putting together this rock barrier that was kind of like sitting out there, we're all like lifting stones and putting them in place. He was telling us what it was for and you know, that's pretty cool. I'm, I enjoy the hands-on stuff a lot. Farming and, and fishermen should be the highest paid occupation in the world. Seriously. We don't need doctors and lawyers. We need fishermen and farmers. Something I enjoyed was the chance. <laughs> I have learned the e o mahi chant, and I love the way it sounded, and I love the way how they sound. Uh, the chants are very similar to how we sing, and uh, um, yeah, I love I love like their singing here. It's like powwow, but to them, it's chants. Today we went to a okay. Well, it wasn't just a play, but some Hawaiian culture. Uh, the history of the Hawaiian people. Um, it was like a bunch of phases throughout kind of their history. And midway through the play, I kind of realized that it was kind of similar to the Aboriginals in North America. And I noticed how like the they were colonized and their land was taken from and they lost their culture. Similar because of the, the tragedies that we endured throughout um, throughout history, you know, with the white man coming to, you know, take our land and stuff like that. And sure, but they regained it and it was very beautiful. I mean, it almost made me cry. <laughs> the cultural teachings the uh, Polynesians teach are so similar to the Cree teachings feels like we're connected, you know, like we both understand each other and uh, it's, just, it's just a good feeling to feel and, uh, to have another race of people to be, to be that close to, you know. Son go from an alien to a spirit, like it came, it came alive to a human. So uh, it's the breath of life. Uh, ha is the breath of life. Uh, 
It's this breath we share. We don't share this breath. This breath is tainted because we all lie. We all swear. We all hurt people before of this. So we share this breath. It's the purest breath. So when we, we and the young team came together, we, we share our, our mana, our essence, our, our, our positive uh, spiritual energy to increase. Yeah. So ha is the breath of life. Repeat after me. Uh, vai. Vai. Vai is water and water is the source of life. Water comes from the heaven, touch the mountain, all the way to the sea. Everything the water touches brings life. Vai vai. You know why it means values? Vai vai means wealth. Repeat after me. E. E. E is one word for, for spirituality. E is one word for ancestral. So spirituality is what makes us all do the right thing when nobody looking. <laughs> oh, or do the right thing when everybody doing the wrong. So ha. Vai. Vai. E. Ha vai 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 e. For we are the breath of life, the source of life, and we walk with our ancestors. So that's what ha vai e means. Ha vai e not the island. Ha vai e. Ha vai e. Ha vai e. We are ha vai e now. So let's get ready for our photo.